this is Benedict again and this is my second vlog. If you're new to my channel, just log in, just click in subscribe button and then click the bell button. Today's video, I'm gonna share with you some of my learnings in the Socio-Cultural Foundation of Education. You know what? The uh, Module 6 discusses the multicultural education. And multicultural education can help teachers in realizing what should be done to have an inclusive education inside the classroom. In module, I've learned in this module that uh, multicultural education means uh, you need to eradicate all the prejudice, biases, and uh, some uh, of the uh, untoward incidents inside the classroom. When I ask what aspect in teaching uh, in the Philippines is multicultural, uh, my response is, uh, since Filipino culture is adequately diversified because of its archipelagic uh, land distribution, there is a need to use flexible teaching strategies for all the learners. Alright, so here is uh, one of the great facilities here in MNHS Annex which is this uh, stage okay as you can see here in this area most of my students of our students rather uh, give their best during the performances or, uh, during the cultural show for everyone so this is one of a kind uh, strategies or examples that uh, in the Philippines we cater all levels of cultures or the different kinds of cultures. The use of collaborative and group dynamics uh, are basically the tool that we are going to use for the inclusion of all the different cultures of the learners. You know what? The teacher should uh, nurture the different cultural background of his or her students to make the learning more tangible because the latter are inclined with their ethnic places and sense of identity. Now let's go to the module 7 for the uh, inclusive education. It is a human right to have access to a high quality education. It is a natural, natural right that all people have by virtue of their humanity. It is a natural right and it is owed, owed to a person. The inclusive education emancipates as one of the millennium development goals the Education for All or EPA. This is accomplished by ensuring that all children, disabled or not, have access to education and are provided with meaningful educational experiences that allow them to reach their full potential and live meaningfully and productive lives. building where the inclusive education or uh, the PWD or the uh, learners with the disabilities. It is very sad that in the Philippines most cases of bullying are experienced by uh, the disabled one. So then it is an obligation of the government to provide the necessary uh, steps in uh, creating inclusive education for the disabled one. 
In schools, students with disabilities endure significantly high rates of maltreatment and constraint. As a defender of education and disabilities, I often find meaningful grounds to distinguish students from wider public. Many teachers and parents have expressed their sympathy and are likewise keen for various reasons to keep specific students' group hidden from the public. Now the question is, is mainstreams good idea if the children are not uh, able to learn from other children? We must promote more or we must be more accountable. We must promote uh, accountable learning experience for people who have certain learning demands. And I'm confident that and I'm confident it's about the way to accept the type of learners. And I'm confident it's about the way to accept the type of learners which were right, which were right. And I'm confident it's about the way to accept the type of learners with their rights, not their physical features or limitations. In addition, integration will not materialize unless we try to establish it with other children who are not impaired after all education isn't about the teacher it's about loving children with special needs in the most unattainable mind gender has always been the major topic in our country in our history Man is regarded as the most uh, powerful gender in the world because of his strength and masculinity. From the ancient times till the era of the Bible. Then it was discovered that many of our disadvantaged people are women and or people of the third sex. The module uh, 8 discusses the education should allow to discover the secrets and sincere service without looking at the sex or gender of a person. And the role of education as the center of shaping people's brains or minds is how they see their gender preferences will be more understood and recognized. I'll give you one example in this uh, particular comfort room. Okay, so we have here the and then the room for she. And now, as uh, the Department of Education already implemented the inclusive education for all, of course, we have uh, created a space or a cubicle or a room for the LGBT community. Specialization and education never stops. And this has commenced during the education for all of the MDGs and I believe that one of the greatest accomplishment of education is that shaping the future without looking uh, without looking at the context of their uh, differences so in here in Munoz National High School Annex we provided some of uh, uh, the global perspective that uh, without this tank, without this mechanism, water supply will be interrupted. So that's one, uh, that is one of the greatest invention of human. Okay, the, the irrigation and water system. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Keep safe everyone. Goodbye.